This week we saw some record tornado activity in the Midwest, here in the United States. And you're not going to see this covered in the news, but these additional tornadoes were enabled by the, the radioactive material. This is another consequence of the fallout from Fukushima. And these funnels, these tornadoes, are a quantum effect. And if you do a search for quantum vortex, you can see that there is a level on which these things manifest that is energetic in nature. And having a large field, a large plane of radioactive material that's basically emitting these subatomic particles, which on another dimensional level actually represent a sort of vortextual fold in the time space. Having this field enables the division of these energies into these pieces that form these vortices. As more wafts over from that area, we can expect to see more of these unusual sort of energetic atmospheric features. And there were coronal mass ejections that were associated with uh, these storms, but they didn't manifest the way they would have if this material hadn't been present in the atmosphere. And again, you're not going to see the nuclear industry fess up to this, unfortunately. So all you people in North Carolina, in the Midwest, that uh, lost your homes because of this, you need to think about the reactors, the nuclear reactors in your area, and what might be happening if there is a significant quake in your area. Because another thing you're not going to hear on the news is that the damage to the reactors was done by the earthquake. These cores, these nuclear cores, are incredibly dense. They have a very, very large uh, mass density. And when the surrounding material shakes, they tend to hold their inertia. And so they tend to slam into the side of the reactor wall and into, the, into each other. The individual rods will, uh, under enough stress, under enough uh, jerk response, Newtonian mechanics, um, these things break. These things uh, come together in a way that produces this uh, undesirable reaction, this unders undesirable chain of reactions. And so, unfortunately, uh, the people who adapted this weapons technology to try to use in the uh, energy industry don't have a lot of reverence for human life. And so they don't really give a shit. And so the people are going to have to stand up, rise up, and take this power out of their hands. Otherwise, they're going to fuck up your world. They're going to fuck up your environment. And so uh, think about that because there's a, a blackout right now, a seemingly a news blackout uh, from, of information that's coming from Fukushima. And at the point where they decided they needed to evacuate it, all of the workers from the plant, there was no explanation given as to what had happened, why that sudden radiation spike, uh, what happened there. Is there another explosion that's happened or was there a, uh, another breach or a bigger meltdown that we didn't hear about? Um, and they sent in the robots. Yeah. Yeah, you're not getting the right story. You can bet on that. So, more tornadoes next week, maybe. Unusual times we're living in. Hope you're all doing well. I've been very, very busy. And that's the reason I've been out of touch. I've just been working on this uh, hypertime mapping problem. And I've come, made an incredible breakthrough with the temporally asymmetric onfinitic resonance. Um, my understanding of that, the supramental uh, activity, I've been sort of doing this um, 
communication with the collective unconsciousness that's just absolutely fascinating work and I'd love to share it. I just haven't had time to do that with with the Fukushima nuclear stuff that I've been researching in addition to all the other work I'm working on. And uh, <laughs> my financial ship is still not very much going down. If you want to help me out with a, a donation to astrotometry, that would be highly appreciated. Um, <laughs> otherwise, if you're someone who can help me file bankruptcy, <laughs> That's, uh, that's what I'm looking at here very very soon if I, I don't figure out something to do about my, my financial situation. I'm not, uh, not going to go get a job somewhere when I've got so much work that's so important that I need to be doing that the government should be paying for. Um, unfortunately, they're interested in more or less killing everybody and blaming it on the terrorists. Yeah, uh, same shit, different day. I hope you're all well. I love you. Bye.